Hi, this is Jacob with removevirus.org, and today we're going to be covering a PC antispyware 2010 removal, and this is a fake uh, antivirus client. It is uh, bogus, so do not fall prey, do not uh, purchase this. This is basically what it looks like right here, and the whole purpose of this is to try to scare the use and trick them into actually purchasing the software. And uh, like we already said, it is a, a fake product, so it's not one that, you, that you'll want to use at all. And here's another one of the pop-ups that comes up. And if we were to, let's say, go ahead and try to do something here, we'll say uh, proactive defense. Say we try to turn something on. Go ahead and hit the uh, OK button. Um, it's just going to keep popping up. And those who are infected with this, yeah, this is something you'll want to remove right away. Also, if you notice, here's another look that comes up. I'm sure you guys this one. And if you guys notice uh, that your desktop is hijacked, where you actually see something here on the desktop, such as the wallpaper changed, or if your uh, control, or I'm sorry, if your task manager is disabled when you hit control, it delete, and, or uh, like I said, your desktop is hijacked too as well, um, that's a clear indication that you're infected with multiple items. Um, and besides just the PC2010 uh, anti-spyware, and before we get started here, I also do want to show you guys this. Um, we do recommend Spyware Doctor with antivirus for pretty much most of the clients we run into, and this one did 100% pick up all the traces for the uh, 2010, uh, the home antivirus, as well as uh, another Trojan that came down with it too as well that we installed, and it looks like a XP antivirus software anti-spyware which is probably the original makers of this program now I can't verify that but uh, probably is so uh, spyware doctor with antivirus I know we recommend it on our site it does work um, there's proof right there and all you'd have to do is hit the fix check button it's going to remove it all for you otherwise let's go ahead and get started with the uh, manual removal instructions now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the task manager you can view our site and how to do that it's going to be control delete and right here you're going to have the applications running go into processes under processes and these names may change over time here but you'll look right there we got the PC antispyware 2010 sometimes the un uninstall.exe may be running as well as another one that starts with a J here but uh, um, you can always download and run a scan with Spyro Doctor anyways just to get uh, the exact uh, um, file locations too as well we do recommend you at least do that that way you'll know whether you're infected with other items too as well but otherwise we've got PC antispyware right click uh, or just click on that go ahead and end process we're going to end that process then we're going to go ahead and browse to the uh, anti-spyware folder which is going to be located in this particular deal uh, c colon backslash documents and settings uh, backslash your username here um, well nope that's actually not the right one let's look and see if we can just pop it up real quick there we go in the c programs backslash uh, program files backslash in the PC anti spyware and you can actually um, t attempt to delete any of that uh, of the PC anti spyware and keep in mind that in Vista it may, it'll be a little bit different but once you get into the program files it's the same thing let's go ahead and try right clicking on this to just deleting this yes delete it it went ahead and deleted all those so that was the only process running if it said it couldn't delete a fire or a folder in there you may have to go back in and delete whatever process was still running but it uh, looks like we got rid of that. And popping back over here to PC Tools real quick, we're going to be able to see all those exact file locations. So we're going to be able to see that uh, um, this particular deal for the uh, Rogue Anti-Spyware Home Antivirus 2010, um, the exact locations of where these files are located. And we have this on, on our guide, too, on the website. A lot of people find that a bit easier to use. Um, and, and personally, I would recommend just visiting the, the text document, too, to actually get see these locations. And they do change from time to time. If they do change on you and you're following our guide and they've been updated, please go ahead and post a comment. That way we know we can just update other users, too, as well. But you can basically just go through this and actually see what's going on exactly and where those files are at. So this is a, a really good path here because this is showing us the exact install path. And also, because we got some DLLs here, we may or may not have to go in and actually uh, remove and unregister a few DLLs. And this right here is the startup menu. This is actually telling it to start up with the uh, computer here. So what we have to go do now is go into the registry and actually edit um, some of these value, some of these values. And let's take a look real quick here. When login, no exception, standard profile, hidden, advanced. 
Yeah, and here you're going to see where it's no change in the wallpaper, so I do know for a fact now that uh, plenty of people will have a, a, a fake image on the desktop, as well as, let's see if we can just identify something else real quick. look here and we just saw that uh, it looks like it's uh, trying to disable a shared firewall too as well so, so basically we're gonna have to go into the registry now and delete some of these keys in there and we do have a detailed guide here on, a, on our website removevirus.org on how to uh, get into the registry and edit values so we'll go ahead and go to uh, regedit pop up that Windows registry real quick at this point in time we do got to give a little bit of a disclaimer we do not encourage any people who are not advanced in any way on computers or don't know what they're doing in the registry to actually go into the registry and delete these files uh, you can cause permanent damage we always do recommend making a backup of your computer registry um, please note that anything you do we cannot be held liable for any actions you take regarding any, any information we give here so now, now that we got some of the legal stuff covered we can actually go in let's one of the registry values that we have to go in and delete and I've already gotten them written down here so H key local machine software we're just going to show you one example here just to get you going so we're going to go down to uh, the Microsoft and it's very easy to get lost in here too so worst case scenario you can always just uh, start over too as well Windows version. Let's pop this open just a wee bit. Uninstall. It's the next folder we have to find. And there we got it right there, the PC anti spyware twenty ten. So is what we're going to want to do with this is actually delete this folder. Make sure you want to delete it. Yes. And, and you can follow our guide for the rest of it and on the rest of the keys you're going to have to do. And keep in mind you may have to unregister DLLs too as well. And we'll have those listed on our website as well as how to do that too. Uh, once again, um, if you're not tech savvy at all, we really don't once you go in and register or, or messing with your uh, registry at all it's better to use an antivirus client we have uh, just proven that the spyware doctor uh, does uh, indeed remove this particular threat and if you have issues after installing uh, spyware doctor with antivirus or if you're unable to install spyware doctor with antivirus and get the updates uh, one of the tools we do recommend is submit fraud fix and you'll find it on the top right section of our website as well as how to use it and it's a great tool uh, basically Smith fraud is those fake clients that you see um, such as this one that's currently installed on the system and this is the tool right here and might as well just at least run it real quick just to show you some of the options on here and it might take a minute or two to load up here there we go so any button to continue we'll go ahead and continue I do recommend you read the disclaimers basically you're going to select be selecting out offer uh, option two so two then you would hit enter and it's what this is good at is it's good at yeah it may possibly even remove your in the, in the fake antivirus software you have on your system but chances are if you have to use the software it means you have other trojans on there that this program is not going to pick up and that's why we do urge you to always have a good antivirus client um, besides you want one so you don't get infected again anyways that is going to be it for this removal guide of the PC anti spyware 2010 again you can uh, just refer to our website here and uh, read the manual or removal instructions posted underneath this video too as well. I hope this helped and you guys have a great day.
one last thing, sorry, I didn't mention that. We do recommend onlinecomputerrepair.org, too. Um, they're listed on the top right of our site, too, as well. And these guys are professionals of what they do. And they charge around $89 to remove uh, all your viruses and spyware. It's a pretty good deal, um, especially for those who are just frustrated to no end or if you need your PC back right away. Um, it's a great option to go. We love the guys, and uh, they, they always do a good job. All right, and that is it. Take care.